my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. <laughs> Let's uh, sequence some two-on-two -two shaped arpeggios, four note arpeggios. Two videos are preceding this, so please go back and, and watch those if you haven't already, so you don't get confused. We're working with four note arpeggios and we lay them out as two one-two shapes. So we have two notes on the first, one note on the next string, and two notes on the last. And we can do a ton of things with these shapes, a ton of different advantages. But in this video, we're going to look at how to sequence them horizontally. You can play them horizontally, you can stack them together so you play uh, across the fretboard, both you know vertically and horizontally at the same time. And in doing so, a lot of different things becomes easier. You can do you know sequences that, that fit each way of playing these arpeggios, of stacking them together, and it just opens up a whole range of... And then we add another note like we did in the last video. We add a third note to our two, uh, a number two, and then suddenly we can start, you know, creating modal sounds. And when we combine that with sequencing these arpeggios, then suddenly we have just a, a, such a juicy tool that, you know, if we master it, then we can't really play something that doesn't sound good. Um, so let's look into a simple sequence that you can use to go back and forth horizontally on the neck. And I should say my modal mastery system, which you can check out on guitarmastery.net you'll find that we have 12 different weeks of 90 minutes of just exploiting and looking into how can we use these uh, 2 one 2 shapes. So that's 12 times 90 minutes. So that's a lot of tools and a lot of different insights. And there's also a basic system of how to actually go about practicing these different arpeggios. So we create modes and it's just uh, so cool. Um, but now let's look into how to sequence horizontally. So let's have a look at this insanity. Uh, basically, it's very simple. Uh, I'm simply just taking our 212 shape up here in the 12th fret and go back and watch the two previous videos if you haven't done so, because this is going to be confusing if you don't. Um, so we have our 12th and 15th fret on the high E string, the 13th fret on the B string, and then we have our 12th and 14th fret on the G string. All right? And if you take it down and then say, okay, this is our top note, but then you make this in the 12th fret our top note on the high E string instead, and then you simply analyze your way and say, okay, we've got the A minor scale, we need to play an A minor seventh arpeggio, so, so I need to play that second note from this note, I need to play that on the same string, so I have two notes here, All right? And then I have the next note, which was this one up here. So same notes, just in different places. And then I have the 12th fret, as I always have, or also have in this shape. All right? And then I have the 9th fret on the G string. So now I have my 12th, 8th, 10th on the B, 12th on the G, and 9th on the G. And I have this one as well. And of course I have... I have them all across the whole thing, right? So you can go from the lowest to the highest. Uh, string and position. And so what I do here to go back and forth between them and get that cool sliding effect is simply just hitting the top note, pulling off down to 12th from the 15th to, to the 12th, and then I hit the 13th fret with an upstroke on the B string, and then the 14th with an upstroke as well, G string, and then I pull off down to 12th, right? And then I slide down to the next note uh, on the same string, so slide down to 9th. So I go And be sure to pull off properly or effectively. All right? So that's... And then you can simply go in the other direction now, but now you go down this arpeggio shape and not that up here. And you can do that by hammering on, so you go... All right? All 
<laughs> and then I hit the 10th fret with a down stroke on the B string. And then the 8th fret on the high E string with a down stroke as well. Alright? And then I can go just 12th fret and hammer that on and slide right up to the first thing again. So I go... And it just becomes up and down with no sequencing at all. <laughs> it feels really odd. Uh, and it, but it gives you these cool little sliding effects uh, inside the... Right? But we can do some cool sequencing here and actually make it easier to play. Um, so we can go... Just the same thing we just did. All right? But instead of sliding right down there, we can do... We can do that kind of... Why right, where you pick a string, hammer on and pull off, move position, hammer on and pull off, move position. All right, so we do the same thing here. We go... That becomes our sequence. And then we go up. So I go... And then hammer on again. And then we go all the way up here. Down stroke 10th fret. Down stroke 8th fret. And then I do the same thing. I hammer on to the 12th and pull off again. And then I slide up with my first finger. So it sounds like this. And then I hammer on. And then I go right down again. Right. And it becomes easier to play and it sounds more interesting because you're mixing up the notes. Let me just play that for you semi-slowly and then really slowly. And you only have these two sweeps in between. Right? So da 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 da. That's what you do. Um, and then really slowly. That's what I promised you. So let's go really slow. And then we're right back. Right? And you can go download these tabs, and you can go download a chart that simply shows you how these patterns look all across the neck. So you can go... And it's the same way you change, go from position to position all the time. And then you can, you know, once you've been doing this enough, you can simply, you know, start improvising. Right? But st start with the two positions first. Go back and forth like an insane person. Use the metronome, then hit the couch. Once you have that automatic pattern down. And you can do it pretty much while watching sitcoms or educational videos. And then... Uh, just get in all the repetitions and, and play perfectly, get all the notes right. And then just an insane amount of repetitions as you're being entertained, and I promise you, you'll get this up to speed. And then after having that loop down and go back and forth, back and forth, you take this shape here, shape number two, and you integrate it or practice it with the, the next shape in the chart. So go download those and then, you know, hit the practice room, uh, use the metronome, and then... Uh, go spend those hours in front of the TV just doing this over and over again uh, at a half unconscious level once you have the technique and the, the way to do it down uh, and, and can do the right thing automatically at a slow level of speed. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.